uh, welcome back to another pristine productions here where we bring you nothing but best and uh want to shout out to all the fans and of course uh we want to promote a uh, ad here which is uh, back pain breakthrough uh, the back pain breakthrough is the number one uh, doctor approved and uh, doctor created solution for all people who suffer with lower back pain and sciatica now this program here uh, is um, been used by a lot of people including athletes uh, movie actresses there's no pain pills required uh, there is no uh, surgery no chiropractor nothing like that so if you, if you like to know more information about a back pain breakthrough program definitely hit me up in the link there and uh, you can get uh, information on how you can get that to you and get that program going in one session cure yourself from a uh, six months of crazy back pain back pain breakthrough but uh, today uh, we're not going to talk about uh, that yeah, we're going to talk about a, a very nice feature here in studio one five and of all your producers uh, you know, you want you want to make sure you take care of your back, and uh, you singers as well. So today we're going to talk about um, we're going to extract a MIDI from the audio. We're going to show you some uh, tricks here. Extracting MIDI from audio. So let's get right down to it. So I have three audio files here, and I'm going to I'm going to do it on on uh, samples as well. Studio One Five is amazing. It is here, and I encourage you guys to go on it, check it out, and be creative. So I have a harp, I have a bass, and I have a kick drum. All of these are stereo wave files, and I have the VST loaded up. So when we convert the MIDI information, we can add it back in. So. Uh, did you know that Studio Five can Studio One Five can do that? So let's start off with the harp here. So I'm gonna play the harp. So that's the harp. That's the wave files as you can as you can see. So you might say, Ray, how are you gonna do that? Well, remember Studio One Five ships with the uh, Melodyne. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna click on since this is a loop right here. We're gonna left click on the audio clip here. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go down to uh, event and go to audio here. I'm going on their audio processing. I'm gonna click on edit with Melodyne. So I'm gonna left click on that. And uh, of course, Studio One Five uh, Melodyne is gonna scan these notes just like it did with a vocal. And you can not only use this on you know instruments you can you can pick it up from any sound source and try to get the information let's say you heard a lead guitar somebody you want to sample that you can download put it in your DAW put a Melodyne on it and, and grab the MIDI information from it. so here are the files here for the or the MIDI information uh, from Melodyne here okay so I'm gonna click quickly X X out of that all I needed was the MIDI. If you can see here, I'm going to zoom in real quick. I'm going to enlarge the window. That's not helping. But you can see there's a little effects uh, text that comes here that indicating that there's an effect on this clip. And there you see some little lines. So that is telling you that the MIDI, MIDI information is there. So how do we extract it? Here's what we do. I'm going to left click. And I'm going to drag up right onto this VST I have right here and boom Studio One has uh, taken the MIDI information from the audio clip through Melodyne and we have this VST instrument here and if I solo this now and play I'm gonna raise the volume I'm going to duplicate it as well. As you can see, it, it extracted the notes here. 
what you might want to do as well, you might want to go in that MIDI file and do some little tweaks, maybe increase the velocity so we get a little more stronger notation. But that is what um, Studio One has picked up. Pretty cool, pretty awesome. And uh, here we go. Um, let's try it on the bass as well. I'm going to solo the wave instrument. Now, I mean the the wave file, the bass here. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to going to solo the bass. So that's the bass. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click and check this out. Studio One Five has detected that we already use Meldine on previous uh, instrument or file. So on the recent item, I'll go with Edit m with Meldine, or I can go to Event. I can go to Audio. I go right here. I'm going to click on Edit with Meldine, uh, and Meldine will do its thing. It's going to scan the files. There's a little clock. You can say monophonic detection. And there it is. So now that Melodyne has scanned and tracked the information here, there it is. I can go ahead. And of course, uh, you can always edit in Melodyne and then extract what you've edited into the v VSD instrument. So I'm going to left click, I'm going to drag, I'm going to drag it up to this next VSD instrument right here. As I said um, that I put as space, I'm going to unmute that. I'm going to solo the bass instrument now. I'm going to play it back. Okay, but what we're hearing, you might say, read the, the notes sound wrong here. But what is happening uh, since uh, we've extracted the media information here? Um, we went a little bit octave lower, so that's no problem. So I'm going to highlight the notes here. I'm going to take it up. Let's go about right about there and play back. And that's our MIDI information right there. I can unmute the harp. Let's see here. Play back. Cool. Let's uh, let's do one more. Now we're going to use a different technique here. Now, one thing to note, guys, um, if let's say you have samples in your session, you know, like drum kits and that stuff, and you have just just a sample, what we can do rather than using a melodyne here, we can use another technique um, called a groove. So how we do that? Since this is sample here. I'm going to click on this part here that has a kick and I'm going to go on the toolbar section here. I'm going to click on the quantize here. It brings down this drop box. You might see this at first, the groove, but if you look on the left left hand side corner, upper left hand, you go down a groove, click on that, and what do I do? I click on this sample here. I'm going to drag that all the way up here right here you see it says add groove pattern i'm going to release the left click here and what did studio one five do something happens down there it detected the transients of the sample so what do i do i take my little hand and i have a, a contact sample play playback right down here i'm going to drag this back down here right there and there you see it folks there is the MIDI notes. I can double click on this thing and I'm going to show you as proof. There it is. I'll play it back. Let me, um, let me solo that part there. I'm going to duplicate it by hitting the letter D. And on the contact player, I already have a kick sample loaded up. I just need a MIDI file. And there it is. I'm playing that same kick articulation on contact so there you go folks I wanted to share that with you remember all you studio studio producers and songwriters the back pain breakthrough link in the description look up that program it's very reasonable look that program up no surgery required no painkiller pills 
no chiropractor and celebrities has used it athletes you know people from all walks has used this session to free up months and months of back pain back pain breakthrough you know help yourself don't get a slip disc you know so I want to thank you guys for uh, tuning in on, on this tutorial here. And remember, you can hit me up on, web, web, on my website. My new Soka uh, mixing course is out as well. And check out the new goodies I have with the stem, um, uh, sample and stem packs, dance hall, and reggae. So I'll catch you guys on the next one.